We're gonna make two sauces for one sandwich that you can make with either boneless, skinless chicken or a nice meaty white fish. Uh, halibut's great for this, center cut cod, black cod. For either, I make a little spice rub that's a little cumin, granulated garlic, granulated onion, salt and pepper. Sprinkle that on either and you're good to go. Now, for the two sauces, we're gonna make salsa verde. We're also gonna make a Mexican crema or a sour cream sauce that we'll get to in a little bit. And we have our cast iron skillet getting nice and hot. You wanna use a neutral oil because you're cooking at a pretty high temp. So olive oil that's well refined that you can literally see through. Safflower oil, peanut oil, well refined, see through, light in color and flavor olive oil. Those are all good choices. If you can see through it, it's fine. Chicken tongs down, fishy tongs up. Now don't mess with meat once you put it into a skillet. Don't mess with the fish or the chicken until it's ready to turn. So let that get a nice color and a good flavor development before you start messing with it. For our first sauce, basic salsa verde stores for weeks in the fridge, delicious for snacking. I start with a couple of poblano peppers, a couple of jalapeno peppers, one onion quartered, and a bulb of garlic. Char it under the broiler until everybody's evenly tender and the char is even on both sides. So we have six or seven tangy tomatillos. We have our poblanos that have been seeded and stemmed and charred. And once this cools, you put all of the juices in the charred tomatillos, onions, and chilies into your food processor. Then we're going to add the juice of one lime. Then we're gonna add a little oregano. Anytime we use dried herbs, give it a light crush to wake it up. A sprinkle of the cumin that we just used in our rub for the meat and fish. A tiny drizzle of honey or agave. A small handful of cilantro. A little salt. And whiz it up. Another way to get the juices flowing with any citrus is to throw it into the pan along with the protein. So I'm gonna douse our chicken and or your fish with a little lime juice as well. But I cut it in half and I'm caramelizing the fruit in the pan. It'll make it sweeter, it'll get the juices flowing of course. And once it cools, take them out, let it cool for a second, you can squish that juice over the meat or the fish. The chicken is looking perfect and they're very thin. I don't wanna take them any darker than that. And now we're going to make the white creamy sauce for either of these sandwiches. We're gonna take Mexican crema or sour cream, either or. And this is queso fresco, or cotija cheese would work too. You're going to literally finely grate in your processor or on your box grater, or just crumble it with your fingers, a ton of sweet and slightly salty cheese, and mix it into the crema with a little hint of cumin, and a little hint of lime, and that's it. Sauce number one, the Mexican crema, uh, laced with cumin and a little lime and all that finely ground cheese. Mm. Put that on the bun bottom. Then we're gonna take some nice spicy, cool, crunchy radishes and put those little fellas down there in a nice thin layer. And then we're gonna pair them up, those sassy radishes, with a little thinly sliced red onion. And then, so you don't have to make a salad, throw a couple of lettuce leaves on there. <laughs> then we take our charred lime and douse our fish or our chicken. But you put your chicken up there or you put your beautiful fish filet up there. And then we top that with a lot of salsa verde. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 